Hi guys, I'm Casey and today I'm gonna show you how I made this crochet bucket hat. This pattern is very easy to follow that you can finish it within a day or two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. For this project, I'll use a double pull of indofil yarn, 4mm hook, stitch marker, needle, tape measure, and a pair of scissors. Starting with the top of the bucket hat, make a slip knot, and then make 4 chains. Make a ring by connecting the last chain to the first chain using a slip stitch. For row 1, chain 1, then make 8 half double crochets inside the ring. To make a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over and pull through the ring, yarn over once again and pull through all 3 loops. I'm going to finish this row and meet you at the last stitch. We're now at the last half double crochet for this row. For row 2, instead of doing a slip stitch to the very first stitch, we will continue doing half double crochet. In this case, we need to mark the start of this row with a stitch marker. Then we'll do an increase by placing two half double crochets in each stitch. Done with row two. For row 3, we'll make an increase every after one half double crochet. And don't forget to mark the start of every row with a stitch marker. We're now at the end of row 3. For row 4, we'll make an increase every after two half double crochet. We're now done with row 4. For row 5, we'll do an increase every after 3 half double crochet. For row 6, we'll make an increase every after 4 half double crochet. And for row 7, we'll make an increase for every 5 half double crochet. I guess you can see the pattern here in order to make a circle. That is, for every row, we're going to increase the interval of increases by 1.
I'm gonna finish making this circle until I reach 6.25 to 6.5 inches in diameter. My head circumference is 22 inches and you can use it as a reference in finding your own measurement flashed on the screen. I'm back with a circle that is almost 6.5 inches in diameter and I made a total of 11 rows which got up to an interval of 9 half double crochet before making an increase. As you can see, we still have 3 stitches left. It's because we'll connect this row to the start of the very same row by having 1 single crochet and 2 slip stitches. To make a single crochet, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch, yarn over again and pull through the two loops. To make a slip stitch, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch and loop. Next off is the body of the hat. This time, we will not do any increases because we don't want the hat to be too loose. Starting with row 12, we'll make a back loop half double crochet to change the direction of the stitches and have it in downward motion. Again, don't forget to place the stitch marker and I'll meet you by the end of this row. For rows 13 to 22, we'll make half double crochet in every stitch. You can adjust the height to your liking by adding more rows but I plan to make it just up to 3 inches. We're done with the last row. We'll now start making the brim. For row 23, we'll change the direction of the stitches once again and at the same time, increasing the number of stitches by making 4 front loop half double crochet, then an increase on the 5th stitch. We already have 4 front loop half double crochet and we'll make an increase here on the 5th stitch. Again, I'll finish this row and meet you at the end. Done with row 23 and still not losing the stitch marker. For row 24, we will have an increase every after 6 normal half double crochet. We already have 6 half double crochet. We'll make an increase here on the 7th stitch. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. For rows 25 to 26, place half double crochet on every stitch to rule out the ruffles made from the increases from the last two rows. For row 27, we will have the last row with increases by making an increase every after 8 half double crochet. And again, I'll meet you by the end of the row. For rows 28 to 29, place half double crochet on every stitch to rule out the ruffles. 
You can also adjust the length of the brim by adding more rows of normal half double crochet and rows with increases. But make sure to end on the normal half double crochet to prevent the brim from ruffling. For my hat, I like the brim to be wide but not too wide so I'll have it up to 2.5 inches. We're now at the end of the last row with 2 more stitches left and we will now finish this row with 1 single crochet and 1 slip stitch. Then we'll make another slip stitch on the starting stitch to connect the row. To fasten off, pull the yarn just enough to weave in, and cut and remove the other piece of yarn. Secure the tail by weaving it in the stitches back and forth using a needle. Stretch the part where you weave in the tail and cut off the excess. And here's the final output. This project is perfect for beginners as it is very easy to make and this pattern can also be customized depending on the size of your head or the style you want. You can make this with a different yarn, color and design or you can just stick with this pattern and keep it simple. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you do, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you on my next upload.